Hi team, today we're going to do number 30 on the FTC elementary practice test. It's a great problem to review um, algebraic functions. It's a real intro problem, so let's take a look. Which of the following models would be most appropriate in using when introducing functions? And then we have a bunch of options. Would you use fraction bars to introduce functions, or geometric solids, or input-output diagrams, or line graphs? I think where to start is to point out where you would begin, which is input-output charts. Now let's, um, let's use input-output charts to create a function. A function, by the way, describes a relationship between two variables. And let's say I had uh, an input-output chart and my two variables were x and y. x is going to be my input and y is going to be my output. Now this chart is going to model the relationship between x and y. For example, uh, I put in a 1 here and out comes, let's say, um, out comes a 3. Now let's say I put in a, a 2 here and out comes a, um, a 4 and a 3 and out comes a 5. Well, how am I going from, what am I doing to x to get to y? Some of you may be like, well, it looks like for every x value that you have, you're adding 2, and that helps you get to y. Well, guess what? This is your function. You input, it, you input an x, you add 2 to whatever input you put in, and out comes a y. So if you input, let's say, a 4, and add 2 to it, out should come a 6. This input-output chart helped me um, figure out what is the, uh, what is the function or relationship between x and y. Let's look at a little harder one, something a little bit more challenging. Let's say we had this one right here. I put input x here. as I, My inputs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And my outputs are 1, 4, 9, 16, and 25. Well, how do, what am I doing to the x to get to the y? What is the function? Well, let's see. It looks like, hmm, looks like I'm squaring x. And that gets me my y. So whatever input I put in, I square it, and out comes my y. And we could test this out. What's 4 squared? 16. 5 squared? 25. So 6 squared would be 36. Again, we started with an input-output chart, and we looked at the relationship between the x and the y, and we came up with the function of y equals x squared. Now, input-output charts can be used on a very basic level to more intermediate and advanced levels. All right, so never underestimate you know, how useful an input-output chart is to... Um, observing patterns, algebraic patterns. Very, very helpful. There's all sorts of stuff you can do with input-output charts. Really important that whenever you start thinking about functions, that one of your first steps is always to create an input-output chart to try and figure out what that function is. Okay. Um, sometimes I work with teachers and I'm like, you could, you could start with a function and you could create the input-output chart. It goes both ways. All right. You can use the input-output chart to create the function, or you can use the function to create the input-output chart. All right? All right, team, I hope you found this video helpful on functions and intro concepts to algebraic functions, and later it's going to um, build into algebraic uh, graphing of equations. All right, team, thanks so much for watching. Have, an, have a wonderful day. Take care. Bye-bye. Hi team, I want to encourage all teachers that need some extra help on the math to check out one of the Go Math workshops. We're holding them in Massachusetts and in Florida to help teachers uh, get ready for the teacher certification exams. Check it out. I'm sure you'll find it very helpful.